others will plague us in our quest for knowledge. Communists? Communist animals, perhaps? Hey, that's, that's me. Warned. Attempt to propaganda me. I will shriek as a frightened babe calling loyal cyber dogs to my aid. Do you comprehend, commie animal? Uh, just call me. I just have some questions. Just as I feared. Questions. Quizzes. Just as there were in American high school. And if there are no answers, how will the think tank graduate? Who are you and what do you do here? Before you is the brain of Dr. Boros, head of animology, bestology, and DNA scrambling technology here at Big Mountain. I lay the bones and hearts of animals bare beneath my searing gaze, especially the dogs. I did so love dogs once, especially Gabe, that rascal. But there are many animals to shape. Industrious Cazadors, the happy-go-lucky Night Stalkers. They are my living, breathing DNA test tubes. You're responsible for the Cazadors? Indeed. Docile. Curious. Well, so we're getting some requests here, so this is good. Sterile. They are contained here at Big Mountain to preserve DNA and for observation. I want to say they haven't escaped. Because Big Mountain safety measures are far more sophisticated than their primitive animal instincts. We are their lords and masters. See, in Big Mountain, those things are over the Mojave. No, such creatures are found only here, for research purposes. They would no more be capable of escape than breeding. I cannot expect a lobotomite to understand the careful surgical castrating procedures used in their creation. Perhaps a demonstration of my castrating power would settle Ooh, that your That sounds doubts. not good. I don't know if I want that. I'm curious. We're gonna do it. Impregnate you? What? Do you want to make me vomit inside my tank? The mere notion makes the edges of my biomed gel crystallize into asymmetrical patterns. Nonsense! That is what you speak. Nonsense! From beyond! I was at the top of my high school class in American high school. I knew facts. I knew figures. I knew data. We would know if our research was flawed. It is not. We never contradict ourselves. So do not even try. Um... Why are we even debating this? What you ask is of no importance. Mobius besieges us. There are more important things to worry about than data and facts. Um. Until next time, then. Provided there is a next time. For any of us. Alright, I'm going to go out and explore for a little bit because, uh... Now, we've been talking for quite some time, though I think I'll come back at a later date. Probably might go back to the sink. Um, and um, talk to him a little bit some more. Salutations and felicitations, sir, and a most jocund welcome to the sink. I am your electronic valet and household central processor. May I be of service, sir? Uh... Are you some kind of artificial intelligence? Regrettably not, sir. All modules in this habitat are synthetic personalities atop a mundane operating system. There is no intelligence here, sir. Indeed, sir. Though if sir's aim is to activate them, I lament to inform, sir, that most have been offline for some years. If sir were to ask my opinion, I should venture that sir is better off without them. 
However, if Sir is determined to inflict upon Sir's self their dubious services, Sir might locate backup personality disks elsewhere in the facility. Um, why is that? The other modules are rather erratic, Sir. Their personality matrices are built on flawed logic and have not weathered the years well, Sir. So he access their functions for all in personality politics? Tragically, the core operating systems are also located on the personality tapes, Sir. Once the tape is installed, Sir may request I switch their dialectic interfaces off, and I shall oblige with great delectation. However, Sir will still be required to locate and install a backup hollow tape to access. So basically, the more hollow tapes we get, the more functionality we get out of this. As I am given to understand, Sir, this facility was once the property of a Dr. Mobius. He crafted the personality modules as part of a collection of experiments on the subject of machine human interface. As to the reason for the unusual choices of devices to receive the modules, I cannot say. In, in addition to managing the personality matrices of the other household utilities, I can provide Sir with direct access to the commissary. Any goods Sir might require may be purchased through my shopkeep interface, whence tiny robots shall deliver them forthwith to this very domicile. Very good, Sir. All right, let's repair some stuff. Um. Oh. And we'll repair the helmet too. Got to spin our caps on something. Oops. All right, done. E and let's sell some stuff too. Might I be of service, sir? Very good, sir. Should sir be in the market for a new suit of morning wear, I have several suggestions that might suit. All right. So what can we sell? Um, sell the frag grenades. He's got a lot of caps too, so we can sell most everything. Theric lance, plasma grenades. Um, sell the cowboy hat. Sell the con armor. So we'll basically sell everything. Well, I have like a mostly empty inventory, so I can uh, um, pick up a lot of stuff. Um. Hmm. Sell the self voice as well. Xander Ruby came sell and let's see. Let's sell all those poison glands. And crack kind of cigarettes. Not the body pins, or wanna keep those. Sell those as well. A few more money, scrap electronics. Sure, and we'll sell the water glue as well. All right, I accept this. Might Sir care for an aperitif to bomb the weariness of Sir's manifold journey? All right, and we're gonna level up. Level 16, let's get our speech up to level 100. Uh, Prayer, science, uh, medicine would be good to have too. Uh, where can we start putting some more skills? Um, walk pick. We're gonna want that, and I do two in survival to get up to level twenty-five. And we need to pick a perk as well. Uh. Pretty set damage of melee and unarmed weapons against centaurs. Nice start. That's actually gonna be pretty good. Um. Yeah, so we'll just do that. I think. I don't think there's anything else that we would want. Ooh. Twenty percent health points when using stiff stimpacks. That excuse me. That actually might even be better. I think we'll do that. Better stim pack sounds pretty good because I don't think we have a lot of stim packs, and I think we're definitely going to be needing them for this. Oh, we have the combat armor. Neat. Alright, so let's actually like pull out a quest here and um, get to town. Um, yeah, all my friends have off switches. We will start with that first because I want to get all the personalities for the sink and. Um, 
talk to them. And I suspect we'll start leveling up a lot. Oh. Radiation poison. Blah. What if there's like an auto dock? And there's some way to um sorry radiation. We should yeah, we need to actually see if we can um uh Well I want to see if we can fix our hard spines. That'd be a good first venture. This is gonna be a lot of fun, man. I can't wait to wander around this um sandbox like area. So I think we need to go to this facility first. Oh, can I open? Hello, dog. What do these cyber dogs have on them? Um, nothing I really want. Yeah, no, we'll just leave them alone for now. Bell box. Uh, ball cap, card, and cigarettes. Sure, we'll take those. Just so we can sell them. And there is a robot shooting at us, but we'll get there eventually. So why are there so many cigarettes here? Two box, don't want that. Alright, robot, your time has come. So 55 experience per uh, per enemy. This is a, a very experienced, rich environment. Uh, yeah, I guess more cigarettes. Filing cabinet, take all. Card of cigarettes, people, we don't really want that. All right, and away we go. Ooh, hello. The machine tape. Oh, we're gonna have a lot of sunset sarsaparilla here. Uh, let's take the combat armor too, because we might be able to wear that. No, they don't want that drain stuff. Well, I mean, also because we don't use um any uh, energy weapons. Uh, what do you got? Dog me, we don't really want any of that. Got him. Okay, so it doesn't really seem like these dogs have a lot of uh, interesting things for us. And we're still doing all around HP, so we're actually going to be um, just fine. I don't think there's going to be a lot of uh, things here that are going to be super dangerous to us. I think that's mostly because we have the um, um, love and hate weapon equips. The brass knuckles. Hello. Doctor Orderly. Got him. What do you have on you? Energy cells? Flamer fuel, scrap metal. Oh, hello, yes. We're going to take that. We're going to wear that right now, actually. Uh, health regeneration is going to be very nice. Oh, we lost the head, though. Why am I bald? That is sad. I thought... Well, all right, then. I... Oh, because we're lobotomy, of course. I think they shaped their uh, hair to uh, do surgery on us. Ah! Stop setting me on fire, please. Oh, yeah. Take all, and we'll loot the other robot, too. Because I, th I think at the very least, what we can do is we can um, give. Um, one of our followers a weapon and they can use like say like energy weapons or something else. Uh hello, you are probably what we want. Yes, take that. What we 